This is Echo Catcher Tarot. Hello, Gemini. Hello, Cross Watchers. This is going to be a reading for the end of February. I'm just kind of stalling time before I put out the March videos because I want everyone to live in the moment and not plan ahead before March even gets here. So please remember there's no way this can connect with every single Gemini out there. So if it doesn't connect, you know your moon or your Venus sign and you can go watch those videos. And remember on March I'm going to have a new challenge for you to learn about your birth chart. So hopefully you all have Google search your birth chart. You just need the time you were born, the place you were born, and the date you were born. And then... You don't have to pay any money, you don't have to leave your email, and something will come up and just screenshot it, and you can keep referring back to that as I put the challenges out there every month for you, is the plan. So, I'm, I have a new deck of cards, too, I'm going to use. I think I did use them the last time for you, and I shuffled all the decks before I turned the camera on. So, this is the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck. They're beautiful, I just totally love them. So let's see what the first one for you is, Gemini. Disengage from outcomes, number 48. Let go so you can open yourself to the highest love that you deserve. Find ways to release worry or any unresolved lack of forgiveness you might be holding on in, or holding on to, sorry. So let me see what this says. 48... Wow, and the book opened right up to it, Gemini. If you feel you have been overreacted, or you have overreacted, take time to forgive yourself and allow yourself to learn from the situation. If someone else has hurt you, be willing to forgive him or her. Pay attention to how you are feeling, what you are thinking, and what you desire. Take care to align your thoughts and words to attract your heart's desires. You can conquer any pain that comes your way. Understand how pain can help you grow. If someone has betrayed you and you do not think you can ever love again, challenge that belief. Do not be surprised when your heart emerges from darkness capable of loving even more than before. If you are feeling edgy, adjust your diet, your sleep, and your environment. You will be back to the truth of who you are in no time. Orcas develop a social structure based on living with their mothers for the duration of their lives. These pods are formed with the oldest female and her daughters and sons and the offspring of her daughters and so on. Orcas may live up to 90 years, so several generations of the mammals stay together hunting and traveling. These pods are very secure. They seldom stray from each other and if they do it is only for a short time. It is equally important for you to find a strong support system for yourself. Surround yourself with individuals who support you and allow you to grow and evolve as you learn about yourself. That's nice. We should all have friends like that. That's how all our friends should be. So the next card for you, Gemini, is 49. So you had 48 49. Wow. Be insightful and establish. Ground and re balance your energy. Bring your awareness into the now rather than allowing it to occupy the past or future. <coughs> Sorry. So 49, let me find that. Certain things can happen when you are ungrounded. You may find you make mistakes or miss important opportunities. It is imperative that you ground yourself. You can do this by making time for meditation, turning into your physical needs, taking a deep breath, or getting out into nature. A quick way to ground is to plant both your feet firmly on the floor, take a deep breath down to your belly, and calm your mind. Feel the connection between your feet and the earth. Imagine yourself feeling very calm, centered, and grounded. A tube or is an invertebrate that anchors itself to stable elements in the ocean. It creates a tube around its body into which it can withdraw completely. The tube worm spends most of its time perched in motionless on rock or coral, unless it feels threatened. If you are ungrounded, you might feel as if you are getting out of touch with reality. 
Grounding can help you build a strong foundation in knowledge and experience. The tube worm is reminding you of the benefit you feel when you reconnect to the earth. So reconnect, reconnect, Gemini. That's what it says. Okay, and the last one we have for you of this deck is 41. Convey your meaning. This is pretty powerful. Reflect on the way you communicate with others and with yourself. Be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart and with respect and sincerity. So let's see what it says about this one. I think this is only the second time I pulled this one. I pulled it a couple days ago. Good communication is a necessary aspect of all healthy relationships. Take an opportunity to objectively observe how you communicate. Remember to always incorporate respect and receptivity when speaking to yourself and to others. If you are being too hard on yourself, tone it down. If you need to be more honest, know that everyone involved will benefit from receiving the truth of how you are feeling. Love yourself more and see what you can achieve with a new approach. Remember, your goals and aspirations are unique to you. When you are communicating, others may not share your views. <clears throat> Excuse me. This open sharing can help establish a solid base for an exchange of ideas. The white mouth moray eel is a fish that has a long, sleek body that resembles a snake. The white mouth moray eel is quite shy, despite its strong appearance, preferring to spend most of his time concealed inside crevices and alcoves. Their strong jaws seem to open and close as if they are trying to talk to you. Allow yourself the opportunity to clarify what you are trying to get across to someone else. Realize that you may not be clearly explaining what you mean. That's heavy. So if you add those, that would be 48, 8, 9, 10, 3, 4, and 3. 3, 4, 3, if I break those down to whole numbers, what they would be. That means anything. So now I'm going to switch to the Mystical Cats Tarot. Gemini, the Empress, beautiful. So this is somebody who's very nurturing, loving, they're very domesticated, they're very, they like nice things, they like to take care of a beautiful house, they like to go shop for the children's clothes. So yeah, an Empress is somebody who is, holds herself to high standards too. I mean, she does everything 100%. So this is Ten of Earth. This is you being generous to somebody or somebody being generous to you. Gemini. Nine of C. So this is you dreaming and thinking about something from your past that you lost that you want to have back again. And I think those cards, were, was it that one talking about, or was it the last reading? I'm not sure. So that's what that means, just dreaming about stuff you want back. So Gemini, this is the Hermit card. This is a couple things. This could be a Virgo if you have a Virgo in your life. Or this could mean clarity. So all these pomegranates are positive clarity. And the moon is in there. I don't know if you have any secrets that are being revealed. But if you do, they're going to come very clear. So this is C. Tom. This is my Charmer card. This is somebody who's a charmer. They'll come in and just charm you. This is Earth Kitten. So this is the beginning of something new and it's going to be materialistic. So it could be a new friend, a new car, a new job, a new watch, something like that. Something that you're going to have for a while. Which is weird that comes in. So I don't know what it is. Hopefully you know. So then you have the demon cat, which is a couple things, Gemini. This could be a corp Capricorn around you, or it could be lower energy, jealous vibrations. You know, you could have Capricorn as your moon or Venus sign, and that's what this could mean to you. But because if you don't know, this could going to seem like jealousy and lower vibrations around you. Hopefully this isn't you putting this out there in the universe, because it has an echo effect or a boomerang effect is what I'm trying to say. That if you put negative energy out, it'll come back to you. So 
That's either a Capricorn or negative energy somebody putting out. So this is Fire King. So this is somebody with pride and ego. They put themselves on a pedestal and they're like, I'm better than everybody else. Uh, look at me. This is Six of Sky. This would be somebody removing themselves from a lot of drama. There's too much drama, too much lower vibration, too much people fighting and bickering that you're removing yourself from. So see Sky Tom. Sky Tom is somebody being condescending and rude right in front of your face. They're doing it right in front of you. So if you don't have blinders on or you're not in denial, you will see this. Earth Tom. So Earth Tom is somebody or something coming in to help you in your life. Could be a job, could be a friend, a car, a bike, anything. Something coming to help you. The phone. So for fire, this is marriage. This is my marriage card, which is weird. It came out now. We have all this other stuff coming on, and then the marriage card comes out. So that is long-term commitment, celebrations, the priestess. So this is healing and clarity. So you have, this is major. You have a lot of major arcana. So you have the empress, the hermit, the demon cat. So the first top three are all major arcana. And then this one. So I guess you only have four major arcana, but it looked like a lot more. Wow. And this is clarity and healing, like I said. And this is seven of earth. This is you waiting for something. And I feel like it has to do with family because it's tree roots. Seven of C. This is denial. So you are in denial about something or somebody around you is Gemini. Pay attention. Try and figure out. Denial is not a good thing because if you deny something and you let it go too long, the universe will step in. And if they give you a tower moment because you denied something, it's not as pleasant as if you pay attention to something and deal with it when it's happening rather than just ignoring it. Because you will have to deal with it sooner or later if that makes sense. So I'm going to switch over to, the, well I'll pull one more I guess, and then I'll switch over to the chakra. So this is three of fire. This is you asking the universe what's going on, why is this happening? So I'm going to switch to the chakra wisdom deck now. This is seven of cups. So you're hanging on to something from the past that you can't let go of, Gemini. You have all these other cups and you're focusing on one cup from the past that you don't want to release and let go and leave in the past. So how can I say this? Sometimes if you leave things in the past and you grow, you make a full circle and you find yourself back at those things that you have to let go of at some time in your life. If it's meant to be in your life, you have to have faith that it will come back to you and you have to work on yourself and grow because... The universe won't give you stuff when you're not ready for it. And you could think you're ready, but they know you're not. And they're like, oh, we don't want him to mess this up, so we're not going to give it to him now. We're going to give him a taste, and then he's got to go learn this, and then come back, and he can have it full time. That's how it kind of works. So pay attention to that kind of stuff. So Knight of Coins is somebody coming towards you. This is a throat chakra, and they have an abundance of material possessions and coins. Abundance. That's nice, huh? Four of Wands. You've had the marriage card twice, Gemini. Wow, a lot of you are really wanting some marriage. So, out of like 140 cards, you had the marriage card twice. So, this is celebration, long term commitment. If it's not a marriage, it's kind of the same thing. So Nine of Wands is you having something, a thought, that you cannot let go of. It's burdening you. It's holding you. I don't know why the thought is holding you back. I don't know if you're supposed to learn something from it, if you're supposed to deal with it and move on. But there's some thought you, for some reason, cannot let go of. And it could have to do with that Seven of Cups, something in your past you can't let go of. So Queen of Coins, this is so weird how this is coming out on the top. The top so far has been the same meaning, now the second row has been the same meaning. You have Knight of Coins and Queen of Coins. 
So two people here can make a lot of coin together. And this person is throat chakra. I feel like a better communicator. And this person is very intuition. Very honest, gentle, kind of shy, but good with the coins. So let me pull the next one. It's Queen of Wands. So this also is intuition. So this is somebody who knows their self-worth. And if somebody doesn't hold her to the self-worth she holds herself to, she doesn't even waste time with it. So if you treated somebody less than their self-worth in the past, I feel maybe, and you can't move on from that, I'm not really sure. There's a lot of intuition. Well, two intuition. So let's go on. And then you have justice. Justice is a throat chakra. So somebody could be coming in with an apology. Or you could be offering somebody an apology to balance a situation out and make it equal. I feel like some situation wasn't equal with somebody. And maybe it was a queen because you have queen of coins and queen of wands. There's some issue there, yeah. Oh my gosh, and now you have the Queen of Swords. So, I am so glad I shuffled these cards good. So, wow. Gemini, look at this. You have all the Queens. So you have the Queen of Wands, which is self-worth. You have the Queen of Coins, which is material possessions, self-independent. And then you have Queen of Swords, which is intuition and cutting that out, which doesn't, how do I say this? So this person is protected, and they will cut out anything that threatens their, how do I put it, their energy. Their energy, if they get the feeling of negativity, they will like put a bubble around themselves or protect themselves from that. So you have three queens around you. So I don't know if this is three queens. Feel free to vice versa, masculine, feminine energies, Gemini, and cross watcher where they apply. So you have all three queens around you and the marriage card. So I'm going to look over here. The only queen, you have the empress over here and the priestess. So what is going on with all these females, Gemini? So you have three, four, five. You have five females around you, and then if you count... The demon cat, if that represents a female for you, a Capricorn or a Virgo, then you have even more. That is just amazing. I don't know why these females are around you. So then you have the world. Beautiful. Look at this Gemini. This is all the chakras. So whatever is going on with you, maybe you learned something from all three of these queens. And you have moved into a higher spiritual realm. You're more loving of yourself. You're more accepting of yourself. You feel the positivity you have to offer the world to move into a happy, fulfilling life where you could possibly be married someday and be totally happy. You have to love yourself first. That is just wow is all I can say. So Six of Cups. Gemini, I'm getting all these intuition cards. You, I hope you all are paying attention to your intuition because it's coming out strong. So, yeah, Six of Cups is healing. You're going to heal from something. <coughs> death. So, death is something ending, so something new can come in. And I feel like it's almost like you are ending something in yourself and making it more positive. Moving into a positive, higher vibration. The sun, beautiful Gemini. This is a really positive reading. Aside from the drama on the other side with a little bit of lower vibrations and jealousy, this is beautiful. So this is the sun. This is your dreams, your abundance, what you've asked the universe for. And this is a chariot. This is coming in to tell you your dreams are coming. Something you've wanted for a long time is coming to you. I don't know what it is, but something is. This is the intuition chakra. Or it looks like it around there, but it's the sun. So maybe it's a Leo, Gemini. Nice, very nice. I keep forgetting I have to check the time. So should I stop there? I think I should because the sun card trumps everything and the strength card. So that's pretty positive. So now I'm going to pull two souls journey lesson cards for you, Gemini. The first one we have is success. 
I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Oh, that is so beautiful. I do feel love is coming to you. You guys are wanting it. You've been asking for it. You've been craving it. And it's coming to you. You have manifested it. It's coming. And judgment. This is healing. You have healed from judgment somehow. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. And you guys understand that more than anybody. Gemini's are unique, so they totally understand uniqueness. But I feel like a lot of people don't understand your uniqueness. So you guys have had to deal with that. Where I totally get you guys understand. So let me see what it says real fast. Success. Success can mean many things to e the ego self, but the soul only knows one triumph, and that is to love. When your soul is no longer manifested in the physical dimension, it is a time reflection how successful it was with the endeavor. The soul doesn't care how big your house was or how nice your car was or how many bank accounts you had. The soul only cares about how you express love and compassion. In the infinite wisdom of the universe, the more you love, the more love you demonstrate, the more you will receive. The material things that you thought would make you happy will not have the same appeal. And that's kind of odd because you guys kind of understand that. I think more than the other signs. So, we all are spirit. Here's judgment. We all are spirit. We all are the same. It's only the roles we have chosen to play here on earth that make us seem different. The biggest lesson you have chosen to learn is to love. There are so many situations in this physical dimension that it is possible to incarnate into. But the core lesson is to look past those illusions and see yourself in everyone. Each soul has taken its own struggles, and your task is not to judge how someone goes about overcoming those obstacles, but to assist that soul. Always learn to follow the golden rule. I will treat others as I would like to be treated. Everyone in your life is here to teach you something about yourself. Accept the lesson with love and understanding. Beautiful. So I got out of this that you guys really want to be loved. You are looking for love. You are looking for love. You are looking for love. So the world card came out. Your healing is all I can say. It looks like you are healing. You know you are healing. Just keep healing and moving forward. And I feel like it's coming. It's around the corner. It really is. So hopefully your next reading or the one after, it will be very close at hand. So keep doing what you're doing. You're doing good, Gemini. Thank you so much, Gemini and Cross Watchers, for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Please like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. Thank you.